your heavenly father is never outpaced by your struggles or your problems or the difficulties of the day. And you can have this sense of confidence. Why would the disciples have peace I leave with you? My peace I give you. Not as the world gives. Because it's a peace that comes from your father. Your heavenly father who knows the struggles you're in. Who knows the difficulty. Maybe you're in a struggle right now. There's really three kinds of people in this room. Those of you who are going through a struggle right now. And the Lord's got this. Those of you who just came out of a struggle. The Lord's got you. Those of you who are going to be coming into a struggle. And the Lord's got you still. See, I don't want you to miss this, right? So what we find is when we have this confidence, not based upon ourselves, but upon Jesus, that confidence causes us to say, he's got this. And then we walk with a peace that passes all understanding. And in the midst of some tumultuous and turbulent times, two centuries ago, Eliza Hamilton modeled that piece. 2,000 years ago, the disciples just heard about that piece. And today, we're going to have to learn to live with that peace in tumultuous and turbulent times because it's a joy to trust Jesus because he's got this. He won't fail. He won't. Number one. Number one, first and foremost, we, we kind of start right at the beginning that fear is the opposite of faith. Number two, peace is the Christian response. Number three, the cross is our hope and our motivation. Remember, the moment we're in does not pause the mission we are on. If you're a note taker, jot down number three. The cross is our hope and motivation. So now, Jesus has appeared behind closed doors. He said, peace be with you. And now we go on to the next verse, John chapter 20, verse 20. It says, after he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. There's two sentences here. But remember, John, the gospel writer, is a detail-giving gospel writer. So in this passage, these two sentences, he makes two points. The first, second point is clear. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. But John wants us not to miss a detail. Now, you'd be, you'd be overjoyed if you saw your friend back from the dead. If you had a friend who died on Friday and showed up at your house Sunday night, 